with a video title, Doberman vs. Mailman. I think we're all expecting there's a dog at this street address who is really tired of seeing this mailman, and today it's going to deliver him a final message of its own to stay away. The mailman slowly approaches. Clearly, he's dealt with this Doberman before, but as the Doberman isn't doing the same slow approach, he quickly turns around and is soon being chased, running for his life. The dog catches up quickly and appears to snatch something from him and heads back to the house. The mailman's demeanor switches from terrified to looking like he's having a fun time. So maybe he was in on this from the start, or maybe he's happy the Doberman didn't try to snatch an arm or leg instead. Behind this bed, there used to be a door. Look closely to the left of the lamp here and you'll see the outline where it was painted over. There's just one problem. Apparently something on the other side doesn't understand that this is no longer a passageway. The knocking sounds polite yet urgent, definitely human. It really does sound like someone who believes that they belong in this room and expects to be let in at any moment. It seems like her problem is not going to go away on its own anytime soon. I really wouldn't want to see what's inside of that wall, but it might be the only way to end the problem for good, or maybe make it way worse. This YouTuber just bought some scrap cars for dirt cheap. There's only one catch though. And it wasn't opening yet, so I just opened this up. If you look here, it's biohazard, so I've been trying to be careful. Look. The car has both airbags deployed and, judging from the interior, there were probably no survivors. He pulls out a bag of wrecked parts that just gives me a bad feeling all around. Then he moves deeper inside. The center console contains some weird beads and other miscellaneous items. It's strange to think that he could be rummaging through the very same belongings of a person who is no longer living. Eventually, he comes across a pair of designer sunglasses that again give me the same weird feeling as before. Let me know if you would actually take any of these items, or if you would leave them be. A YouTuber named Saltwater Sean is exploring underwater in Lower Prospect, Nova Scotia, Canada, when he makes a startling discovery that has him holding back a frightened scream. Dolls, freaky ones. He can hardly stand looking at these dolls long enough to capture them on video. I think I might see them moving ever so slightly. But it could be the wind that's moving the dolls. We've got these two super creepy dolls that scared me underwater <laughs> when I found the first, that one on the right there. That really kind of gave me a scare. I probably unearthed an ancient curse or something Sean writes in the description of this scary video. Judging by the evil stare of these two pale creepy dolls, one with red eyes and the others being jet black, I think he could be correct about that curse. Somebody probably threw them in the water for a reason is all I'm saying. A YouTuber named Outdoors Weekly is fishing with his little brother. When he gets a little too comfortable with his surroundings, and makes the mistake of letting his guard down. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh dude! Oh. He sees the snake at 2 minutes and 21 seconds, and hears his raised foot approximately 1 second later at 2 minutes and 22 seconds, ready to come down. He was about to step right on it, no doubt about that, but I want to know how bad the bite would have been. Take a look at this reptile. Is this one you can identify? Thanks for the answer, if so. On February 5th, 2002, Robert Picton was taken into custody by a Vancouver police task force who had found personal items on his pig farm from a woman who had disappeared. There were no other clues aside from the missing belongings, such as a prescription inhaler and other items. In other words, enough evidence to hold him, but not enough for a solid conviction. Prosecutors needed more evidence, so on February 23, 2002, they sent one of their best undercover officers to pose as an inmate to try to get Robert to confess his actions. Robert hadn't had a friend in a long time and was more than willing to swap stories with what he thought was a fellow like-minded psycho. What he revealed was absolutely horrifying. The undercover officer leads the conversation by saying the ocean is the best way to get rid of the past away. Robert is quick to correct him. My the best way to get rid of the past away. 
With CCTV cameras rolling overhead, the undercover officer gets Robert Picton to admit something he had not said to the detective in years. The reason they weren't able to find any of the passed away was because he had put them through meat processing equipment and most likely fed them to his pigs. When the undercover agent tries to get him to say more about what he's done, Robert gives us a glimpse into what a person like him thinks of the people whose lives he's taken. What's most terrifying of all about this is how they were nothing more to him than a number. He sees no individuality, nothing to make them human or set them apart. They are all the same to him, a number that he wants to make even for his own selfish satisfaction. Robert Picton might have gotten away with all 50 acts if not for the self-incriminating testimony which was used against him. On December 11, 2007, he was sentenced to life behind bars. He decided not to make a statement upon being sentenced. I guess he felt like he had already said enough. Published by LANH TV New in March of 2022, and originally published by Knob Team Explore, this scary video reveals that the real haunting happens just out of sight. As the cameraman walks us through an abandoned structure, he rounds a corner where two bright lights are spotted blinking in the dark distance of the surrounding forest. What are they? He whistles and walks toward them. But before we can get to the bottom of that mystery, something starts rattling off to the left. The cameraman turns in the sound's direction and he starts to approach the rattling. Rounding another corner, he finds that this door is the culprit. He calls out and then runs away. Do, do, do. Somebody come. Turning around, he captures this hanging from the rafters. It appears to be a small pair of legs. The rest of the figure's body remains out of sight. When he turns around and casts the camera back, the figure is no longer there. What is this horror? Something that's gonna stay with me for a long time, that's for sure. A TikTok user named He Watches When I Sleep records a ghost wailing up and down his street in the middle of the night. He lives in the southwest and is sure it is the spirit of La Llorona, the vengeful spirit who hovers over water late at night. You can hear some other dogs in the background though, so I'm wondering if this was just a really old dog trying to howl. A while back, we analyzed a scary video posted by this individual, and it seems like his house hasn't gotten any less haunted since then. If anything, the paranormal activity has moved on to his daughter. Let's try to make sense of this scary CCTV footage. Something rolls the ball at her. She rolls the ball back and it stops abruptly like somebody caught it. Please tell me it is a remote control ball because otherwise it looks like their child has attracted a paranormal pal. Or maybe, as unlikely as it sounds, she is manipulating the object somehow. I don't know what this is, but it's really bizarre and I can't stop thinking about it. A YouTube channel called Exploration Unknown is walking along the outskirts of Area 51 when they hear an aircraft fast approaching. I am blown. I hear something, but I can't see it. The sound crescendos to new heights as sound barriers break overhead. Yet strangely, they see absolutely nothing as it passes by. Just when the situation returns to normal, the unseen UFO makes a second pass, and this time they think they can make out its faint outline in the distance. Their camera doesn't really pick up any visuals though, or at least none that I can see, but maybe you can see what he's pointing out in the sky. That is, oh, that is it. 
Like I said, I personally don't see anything, but I can definitely hear it. Which makes me wonder if this is some sort of advanced cloaking technology. After all, the sky is clear blue and a plane should be visible in this weather from almost any height. A YouTuber named MKP Studios wants to record some creepy Alexa moments on camera, so he decides to ask Alexa some creepy questions to see how scary Alexa can get. He starts off by asking Alexa a question about passing away. At first, he receives a thoughtful reply. Everyone has their own views on that question. But then he makes the mistake of asking the same question twice. Ask that once more, Alexa, what happens after death? She just straight up doesn't answer that second time. He says that Alexa mysteriously turns off by itself, but at 4 minutes and 8 seconds, it looks like there was some quick editing to make it look like that's what happened. Anyway, there's one creepy question that you should never ask Alexa, so that's exactly what he starts asking. Give me the 5-9. Proceed carefully, because your choices are recorded, and your every move is watched. There are no cuts this time, at least none that I can see. It seems like Alexa just straight up warned him that he was under surveillance for saying some kind of code phrase. He's already feeling watched and paranoid, and what makes this scary Alexa moment even scarier is that Alexa won't stop referring to him as a friend. So, hello, friend. Alexa, to the Daily Fox. Stop. Hello, friend. What the f is happening? The Alexa, Fox. stop talking. Hello, friend. The only way to make Alexa stop saying the mysterious response is to unplug it. Later on, he decides why not see if he can get some scary Suri responses too. To be honest, Suri responds with mostly normal answers. That is, until the program slips up and possibly reveals who it's really working for. Hey Siri, can I speak to the devil? Sure, I'm here. <laughs> That's creepy. He can't believe what he hears, so he decides to ask Siri the same question in a different way, hoping to get a different response. This time, he uses a word I can't say. It's another name for the Lord of the Underworld. Can I talk to Lu Of course. That's what I'm here for. Go ahead. No such luck. Suri responds. Suri answers the question both times in the affirmative. I definitely agree that such a scary response from Suri would be creepy to hear, especially while alone in your house. I'm hoping that Suri somehow misheard him both times, but something tells me it knows exactly what he's asking. I wouldn't recommend asking Suri and Alexa any creepy questions unless you want some strange moments of your own. Don't watch this video alone at night warns a YouTube channel called Real Ghost Official. He must not know how brave the average Chills fan is after years of watching scary videos. Anyway, he's exploring some abandoned places in India when a startling discovery is made. Caught on camera is a pale, puzzling, wispy figure. A strange light that disappears into the dark without a trace. If there is a road behind him, then this could be the headlights of an oncoming car playing across the wall. Still, I will admit it is quite bizarre to have a light anomaly suddenly appear in such an extraordinarily spooky location, so a ghost sighting is not out of the question. If only he would have turned around, we would know for sure if this is from a car or not. However, turning around is the last thing you would do if you thought of an apparition in front of you. Perhaps the film night at the museum wasn't too far off. This statue, located in England's Manchester Museum, appears to come to life. The ancient Egyptian statue dates back to around 1800 BC and perhaps is cursed by an ancient Egyptian spell. According to the museum's curator, Campbell Price, one day he noticed the 10-inch statue had turned entirely around. As reported by Manchester Evening News, Price said, I thought it was strange because it is in a case and I'm the only one who has a key. When Price moved it back to its original position, he found it had moved again the very next day. He decided the next step was to set up a time-lapse video, but the video raised more questions than it answered as the statue was caught 
red-handed rotating counterclockwise on its own by increments that wouldn't appear visible to the human eye. This occurs only during the daytime. The statue is still at night. While an Egyptian spell isn't off the table, one British physicist thinks the movement can be explained by something called differential friction. Brian Cox says this friction is caused by the footsteps of museum goers whose vibration moves the statue during the day. Price, however, calls this into question as the statue has been housed at the museum since the early 20th century and it hasn't moved before. It also appears to be turning in a perfect circle and only up to 180 degrees so that it's facing backward. Even more interesting, on the rear of the statue is an inscription requesting offerings of bread, oxen, and fowl. Perhaps this is the answer. The statue needs to be fed. Here's another strange sewer grate video that's worth mentioning. Huh? I have no idea what is making these high-pitched noises, and apparently neither does this person. The bleeding quiets down and then starts up again. Everything from toads to alarm systems have been proposed, but I have never heard an alarm system that makes that noise or any other piece of equipment on Earth for that matter. If whatever is making that noise is alive, then I hope they are not suffering. A YouTuber named DX5K doesn't really believe in Bloody Mary, but at the same time, he just can't seem to stop trying to summon her. This is his third try, and it seems to be going as poorly as the other two attempts. He gets an idea and decides that he should try to summon her in total darkness. And that's when things start to get interesting in a potentially paranormal way. Maybe without the candle. Wow, I tried to blow the candle out and it came back on. Let's try it again. Wow, that's actually spooky. I can't blow the candle out. Now, this is getting interesting. This is what I like. Let's go. The candle continues to stay lit despite blowing straight on it. You can hear the curiosity in his voice as DX5K starts to consider the possibility that he may not be alone after all. He quickly shakes the thought out of his mind and tries to blow out the candles for a third time. Nah, say something. I blew your candle out. I seen you kept trying to put the candle back up. It's lit. This time, the candle goes out and he resumes talking trash to Bloody Mary. This could be proof that the legend is not real, or maybe Bloody Mary does not show up for non-believers. If it's not real, then I'd like to know why he couldn't blow out the candle. It doesn't really sound like he is acting. Austin is nervous with anticipation over exploring the haunted Windsor Hotel in Georgia, a 24-hour paranormal investigation challenge that will leave all of them freaked out soon enough. A young person once fell down an elevator shaft in the early 1900s, and the place has been haunted ever since. Her ghost has been seen in hotel mirrors. Objects often move on their own. Austin isn't sure if he believes the paranormal rumors until weird things are caught on camera they've left running overnight. Keys and a wallet fall off the dresser while everyone is asleep. Both objects are planted securely on an even surface and have no reason to drop unless it was a ghost or a string. I don't see either so I'm not sure what to think about this video at this point, but things are creepy so far. One of them wakes up and goes over to investigate the bizarre occurrence. What's caught on camera next is downright strange. As they are picking up the wallet and keys, a lamp clicks off. The noise sounds exactly like the button on their lamp. You heard? Listen. You can literally hear the flip. Something had to literally physically turn that off, bro. So there's no doubt that a lamp turns on, but the question or not is if it's the one that's in front of them. If there were four beds in this room, then I feel like there would be a second lamp behind them off camera. Maybe they were turning that one off to make the clicking noise. Still an overwhelming number of people agree this is paranormal. 682 to 15 as of the time of this video, and given the hotel's haunted history, I trust in what they saw and wouldn't be surprised 
noticed if it was real. This one might be harder to hear, but it's worth it. While investigating, YouTuber's ghost dimension heard something strange at New Sam Park Hospital in Liverpool, England. Listen closely. First, they hear voices in a foreign tongue, and as they listen, they hear a snap. A little later, they hear more unexplained sounds. To me, it sounds like distant footsteps and voices. And then, immediately after Neil asks if anyone is there, you can hear a subtle humming. And as they're about to head downstairs, they hear an undeniable racket from the basement. When the sound gets louder, they hightail it upstairs. There was definitely something in that haunted hospital with them. I'm not sure if it was paranormal or perhaps another group of investigators, but hearing it without seeing anything put me on edge. These books appear to be flying off the shelf all by themselves at an Alamo gift shop after hours. It's hard to tell if they were truly pulled out by a ghost or if someone was just pushing them from the other side of the shelf and playing a prank. We'll never know for sure, but if this were to happen anywhere in Texas, then a historical site like the Alamo would be a very likely location. A strange and mysterious object is found in the woods by a YouTuber named Grant and has his whole group of friends startled by what's inside. Wrapped in tape and caught in the bushes is a creepy red color, faded from being out here so long. They pull at the tape and three minutes later, they are finally ready to reveal the revolting contents inside. Hold on, open it up for a minute, I gotta, I gotta record it. Look at it in there! What is that? Oh, it's a What is it? What is it? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> Gray floating chunks rise to the top of the gelatinous pile, an unknown mystery sludge that blows them back with a rotten stench on a windless day. They run away from it more than once. Things get weirder as a frightening conclusion creeps over them. Like, this is like a somebody's body. Who left somebody's body? Huh? I don't know. I'm holding my breath every time I go over there. Okay, it's kind of sketch, bro. Why it with duct tape? It's I'm calling that one. Don't call the don't call the emergency one. Someone is leaving this weird thing in the forest, one of the scariest finds of their life, and whoever it is has a lot of duct tape. There is a lake nearby, so I hope it's a fishing cooler full of improperly disposed bait and not what they fear it is. We never get an answer to this unexplained video, so tell me what you think this mystery substance was that made them call 911. This YouTuber shakily records their apartment while inspecting every last corner. It's obvious that they no longer feel safe here and want to record for proof. Nothing is out of the ordinary until they silently cross into the bedroom, and that's when the horror is revealed. A 
A girl with long black hair over her face sits crumpled on the floor. Look again and you'll see that even her arms and feet have no detail at all, like a silhouette. When he checks again to make sure he is not seeing things, he's surprised to find she is all gone. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.